Uncle Jim's Worm Farm is a very popular resource in the world of vermicomposting. It was at their website that I found the hot frog worm bin. If it all the criteria, a small and attractive worm bin, I could keep indoors in shared living spaces during the winter and hot summer days. As a complete newbie to the subject of vermicomposting, I had no idea how stacking bins worked. I looked all over to find a simple explanation of how stacking bins worked, as well as this particular design, without luck. So here it is, the brief and simple explanation I wish I had when I started the deep dive into worm composting. The stacking worm bin has a base, two trays, and a lid. Each tray has holes in the bottom meant to allow drainage of excess moisture and to allow worm migration between the two bins. The tray has these robust half cone-like worm ramps. It pokes into the soil below, giving the worms an easy way to crawl its way up from below. So how does worm composting in a stacking system work? Well, you fill the bottom tray with worm bedding and worms. You add food scraps to the bin and the worms eat the food and poop it out. This poop or casting is the end game referred to as black gold, rich in nutrition for your plants. Eventually, the entire contents of the bin will be transformed into worm castings as the worms eat all of the food and bedding you have added over time. At that point, you stop feeding the worms for a few weeks so the worms can finish up any last bits of uneaten food or bedding. You want that bottom bin to be full of only castings. After the starvation period is done and you're pretty sure that you're left with all that you're left with is castings, you add the second tray on top, fill it with the fresh food and bedding. The worms will crawl up the ramps and through the holes of the top tray, leaving a bottom tray full of nutrient-rich castings behind, ready for use. Before I forget, the base of the hot frog composting bin acts as a drain for any kind of excess moisture that might come out of the bin. I've had this bin for over a week now and I haven't had any moisture um, leak out, but in case it does, there's a little um, screen to catch any worms and then here's a little drain to a little spigot to drain any kind of liquid that comes out. Since I just started this worm bin, I am storing the empty top bin and just using the bottom bin to feed the worms. I hope this explanation helps clear up any basic questions you might have of what worm composting is and how it's done in a stacking system such as this hot frog living composter. Thanks for watching!